Bench here with another redstone tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to be creating the little bit out of that I created in order to do the scoring on my King of the Hill and Domination maps. It's primarily made out of a RS Nor latch, and uh, it's great because it's only two blocks wide and is fairly tileable. So uh, we'll start with our input here. We're going to have that go up three, and then we're going to zigzag our way up four, and. Uh, what I'll do is I'll make that one blue, so you know exactly where our RS Nor latch is, which is there. And I'll put a red block there, because this is our reset line above. Our yellow will be our output, which is going to jump down there. It'll jump out there, and we'll just extend it out the back, uh, so we can see what we're doing. Alright, redstone torch there. We'll put one here. We'll come up, put one there. And then our typical two, nope, there, for our, um, our snow latch, and then one there. Okay. Redstone wire, we'll put there, 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 there. On top, along there. And repeaters, there, there, redstone wire there. Redstone wire there. Forgot this torch at the back. And a repeater there. So that's the design as it is. And as you can see, it is off currently. So it's not that complicated to build. What we'll do is we'll extend these out. This is our reset line. It's not going to do anything because currently everything is off. So we'll come down here and there's one final little component that we need, which is our mono stable circuit in order for our th actual circuit to work. Um, now, sometimes you do need to extend this out if you're going to be uh, running this actually quite long, but on the whole, it seems pretty reliable. I haven't had any issues on it, and I've used it on a couple of builds thus far, so I'm pretty happy with it and how it responds. All right, there we go. So that's our mono stable, and uh, we'll hit this button, and you'll see it updates. Hit it again, nothing's going to happen. Now, unlike other sort of shift registers, this one is not actually a shift register. It's worth noting that this is actually a bit adder, so it's just going to continue to add things on. But for things like scoring and stuff, that actually is what we're after. So what we can do is we can extend it out like this. And actually see how it responds in... Uh, in sequential and the good thing is that we can actually take the output from either side hence why we've got the torch on the top and the torch going down so if you want to make it more compact you don't need to bring it out this far same as the mono stable you can put it underneath if you'd like uh, it's pretty flexible in that regard you know where it is for the um, RS Nor latch I don't need to fill that in with the blue blocks anymore. And the way this works is it's basically using an AND gate. So we've got this uh, torch up here, which then gets a signal from either of these, and uh, when they both go off, it'll trigger the next RS Nor latch, which in turn will deactivate on the next AND gate, so then we get our next output. One thing to note is that this actually does need a repeater between each one, because otherwise it will mess up. And... final bit down here. Now if you want to go more than uh, the length of the redstone wire, you'll need to add a repeater in between, like that. And then you can just go ahead and adjust these for two ticks. 
And if you need more than just a four, you can extend it out again. But for now, we don't need that. Alright, so we've got a couple of outputs there. I do believe we're missing one more. Is there something here? Like sear. What we'll do is we'll hit our reset line, get everything reset. And I've clearly forgotten these torches here. There we go, now everything's off. So we'll stand here and we'll start hitting this button here. And you'll see, okay, one, two, three, four. And that's our outputs. And we can reset it again there. And there you go. So it's nice and compact. It's pretty easy to build. It's not very resource intensive. And uh, you can take your outputs from either side and use it for your scoring. Um, I've got a couple of other redstone little things for like scoring displays. So it works very well with that. That's how I've used it across all my different maps. So I hope this has helped you in uh, creating a, a nice little sort of bit adder in order to do your scoring or anything else that you want to display in a sequential manner, uh, whether you want to add anything. Uh, this is the easiest way that I've found, and it's, uh, I haven't had any issues with it thus far. Alright, thanks for watching.